Zurich Harasa Canada guys and now I'm with my husband and Denise but they are on the other side of this Garden City Park I'll be all by myself again as I promised to you guys that I will continue to inspire and to motivate you to continue your dream to become part of Canada journey and how can you have the chance to be part of this journey let's listen on this vlog we just finished our four vlogs in and it's all about paano makapunta here in canada and our second vlog is how can you survive with those challenges when you just started here in canada and now this vlog is to continue our pinoy immigrant life here in canada I have started here as a food counter attendant and how I became a skilled worker and why I do need to become a skilled worker. It's because on the next vlog, you will learn from Sir Ace how important to have a fiance or a relative or even a wife as a skilled worker here in Canada. Why? It's because when you are a skilled worker, it's easy for you to bring your families here. Back 2010, in our first orientation in Merkan office, my batchmates know, I always ask them, hey, how can I bring my fiancé or common law partner in Canada as soon as possible? That is how advanced is yung isip ko i want like when i landed in canada is just in if possible in just one year my fiance or my common law will be with me in canada of course i always tell to you guys is that two tips two piece you pray and pray and pray and it will be possible but be ready what is the answer of god and it's up to us and how to look at the brighter side and in that life challenges is part of it is you are by yourself alone here in canada as i mentioned is during the time that i'll be myself i usually make time to pray i i always kneel down and i keep on saying lord god please help me how to bring my fiance or common law partner here that sir is in canada and i keep on researching as well Wag lang tayo ng dasal ng dasal, right? We should always do our part. Nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. So what we're gonna do is I start researching and I start asking questions. And I'm asking help from our employers. Of course, employers po natin ng pangalawa kay God ang makakatulong sa atin on how to bring our families. I know now it's a different way po sa America and how to bring your families. You have the option that if you want to bring them along with you, pagka permanent residence na kasi kagad kayo when you landed here, but you need to pay extra fee. It, we're just telling you our case and we don't know it might be back soon that uh, procedure on applying here in Canada. So long story short, is I landed here in Canada as food counter attendant. As being food counter attendant, you're not a skilled worker. And if you are not a skilled worker, you cannot apply your fiance or even your husband or spouse as open work permit. Ano nga ba ang open work permit? Ang open work permit po, ito yung pwede mo siyang maging visa or magi yun talaga ang visa ng yung husband or your spouse or your partner para makapunta here in Canada because me I landed in Canada as temporary work worker with the visa na food counter attendant it, me it means hindi po ako skilled worker nung na hard po ako from the Philippines going in Canada so paano po ba ako naging skilled worker Ganito ang ginawa ko. Of course, I pray. Nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. I research, I google, I always visit cic.gc.ca. That is more of the information about Pinoy or other immigrants here in Canada. Good thing is we met also our church mates na nag guide sa akin how to process the papers because if we will go to another agency and help us out to become 
from a non-skilled to skilled worker you will pay a lot of money as i remember our employer uh at tim hortons he said you will just burn your money if you're gonna use agency if you have the abilities to research i am willing to help you so what i did is i read 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 and then research i know exactly how can be a skilled worker it will be the change of my position like a job title from a food counter to become a supervisor and of course you cannot demand that on my contract hindi naman ako supervisor and i will tell my employer change it to a supervisor because i want to be a skilled worker no hindi po dun kadali so what i did i did my best to contribute with them to become profitable and stable dun sa income nilang pumapasok in restaurant how it is i did my best na magiging magaling ako in suggestive selling i remember there is a oh, not even one guess a lot of customers saying in even both in drive through and in walking they will say oh i just a plan here to go at tim hortons restaurant is for me to have one small double double coffee but at the end i got a bunch of order that i'm expecting to pay only one dollar five cents and now i'm paying ten dollars so what happened with that long story short i i was on the teal and i told them oh it's very snowy i think you need a bigger size of coffee along your way because the snow will not stop in just one day so you mean you want me to upgrade my coffee yes of course you keep yourself warm it's because you will have a long day for sure and i suggested to make it an extra large double double coffee so it was upgraded to one dollar to three dollars with the tax because it's two dollars ten cents and then i said to him also it's not only good to have a coffee it's better for you to save your travel travel going here or any other restaurant just to grab a bite of a breakfast would you like to try our breakfast sandwich and he said okay i'll try my breakfast sandwich would you like to add cheese on it to make it delicious and mouth watering oh for sure and for you to complete your breakfast make it a combo have your hash brown along with your breakfast and oops don't forget your dessert our very own tim hortons donuts or timbits and then he said okay complete the meal at the end the guest just planned to to buy a small double double coffee it ended up that he has an extra large double double coffee along with the breakfast sandwich and a cheese on it add ons because they need to pay extra on that and then hash run to make it a combo and a dessert along with it that is i usually do consistency you know guys if you are asking someone to help you in achieving your dream and my dream is to bring my fiance during that time you should also contribute or be an asset for them to achieve their ultimate goals what is their ultimate goals is to increase their sales and when they have an increase of sales the stability and profitability of the tim hortons is guaranteed so they observe me and i i, I keep on knocking on their door the door at their office and then when i when they're open the door i know they're very busy and i took a risk that i need to talk to them even though i don't even know how to express myself but i but because of my heart speaks they understood it and i don't know during those months that i keep on uh asking them on how can i bring uh my fiance here in canada there they realize that if they they will give me my favor or do my favor they uh, they will also ask me to do a favor for them so they said okay if you can help us to put our name tim horton's white city one of top 10 fast and friendly drive through in our province we will help you to bring your fiance here long story short i did 
my best to have a good relationships to everyone why it's for them to motivate to work as a team a teamwork makes a dream work so my team my team during morning or even evening overnight i want to make sure that we have the same goal is to be part of the top 10 and fast and friendly drive through the way we uh, order we took the order accurately the uh, availability of the products the fast and friendly as we can what we did is you know we worked together and after few months we're not just top 10 we are top three i said thank you lord god that's the power of prayer and they don't even believe on the prayer before but because we got a top 10 that was the first time i heard to my employer he said yeah Teresa, that's the power of prayer we are top three top three drive through fast and friendly service and that's a good news while i'm taking an order i'm wearing ordinary uniform because uh, team hortons it 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 determines your job position dun sa color ng uniform mo and then suddenly the wife of my uh boss the owner of the team horton say hey it's time for you to change your uniform why it's different now and i said May I know the reason why? But I'm expecting that will be a good news. So we went inside the office and that is what she said. Congratulations. We are now promoting you as a supervisor. And becoming supervisor, that's the time you can bring your fiancé here and apply open work permit. And he will be here two to three months <sighs> talaga naglaki yung mata ko and i said thank you lord god truly the power of answered prayer the power of prayer you always answer in your own ways that is my journey from hindi skilled worker non-skilled worker to be and i became skilled worker no naging supervisor po ako sa team hortons you know what when i uh when i was promoted uh, as supervisor kasi bago pa lang it's not yet even uh a, a one year i don't know and not exactly how maybe if it is uh more than one year but not that uh bago pa lang talaga ako that's why my siblings uh, in United States, they said, are you sure you're ready to become a supervisor? Because it's really a big challenge to become uh, one of the management team in Canada or in America or either other country. It's because of the language barriers and the cultural barriers and how can you manage your manpower? So I said to them, I will just uh, trust God. God will not allow me to become a supervisor if I will not able to handle this uh, uh, responsibility given to me. Yeah, it's not too uh, it's not too easy. What I mean to become a supervisor, guys, mahira. If in the Philippines, when you're a skilled worker, what we're saying that we are managed part of the management team, it's so easy. It's because you have a lot of hands extra hands to help you do extraordinary tasks that's why i really appreciated my cruise back in the philippines when i was still with jollibee corporation walang pagod yes but hindi sobrang pagod because of your help you know who you are guys kung gaano ko kayo kamahal kuya jerome magmula nung pc ka pa hanggang manager you've been big help sa akin when I'm working at Jollibee and even Diosa, Kuya Jomer, Kuya Yam, lahat kayo Adrian, mga anak ko, and May, Joy, Kat, hindi ko na kayo isa-isa and AJ, you might feel like why Ma'am Ma Teresa don't even mention my name, basta batch ng Jollibee, San Fernando, SM Annex, and Jollibee Friendship. Mahal na mahal ko kayo. Oops. Don't forget Jollibee Marky Mall. 
ang aking mga anak na sina Jess, Sony and Miles. You know that um, why I mentioned that? It's because when I was a uh, supervisor at Tim Hortons was because now I'm not at Tim Hortons after I got my permanent residency. On our next vlog, next, next, next vlog, you will learn is after you got your permanent residency, you have the chance to uh, pop another job or kung saan kayo magiging suit or you will start accomplishing again or regaining your uh, career back home like my husband he, he started as a waiter or server here in Canada and now he's a teacher and me I started as food, uh, food counter attendant in uh, Tim Hortons naging supervisor and then step by step that now I'm uh, forms and documents administrator in dual property management and I'm taking my license is what I I just keep on saying you guys that when you believe is really possible when you pray that's why i always say two piece now when you put like this we're very familiar to uh two meter social distancing it feels bad because we're having distance to the person that we want to be connected but in the Kadesa canada when you see two like this like peace sign it's two piece two piece means pray and everything will become possible that is a story kung paano po ako naging skilled worker here in Canada back in Regina, Saskatchewan. If you want your employer trust you or to promote you or to help you to become a skilled worker, prove that Filipinos are hard worker and also trustworthy. That is the legacy that we should keep hold on, guys, because we want everyone to hold up each other. That is the story why I want to become a skilled worker, because on our next vlog, I will interview Sir Ace on how to process your open work permit here in Canada, because that is the quickest way for you to bring your loved ones if you're not yet permanent residents when you landed here in canada is to become a skilled worker skilled worker it's not easy but it is possible if you will move quickly that is what i'm telling you guys do not put any boundaries on your capabilities if we did it we always tell to you guys you will do it better than we did it and when other people are capable to do amazing jobs of course you are capable as well it's because we are created equally and for that so i uh, i changed my papers from food counter attendant to a supervisor position as a skilled worker it's not easy but if you move quickly it is possible for you to have your ultimate goals with the help of your team of course a teamwork makes a dream work and with the help of your employers and above all with the help of god once again please don't forget to leave a comment if you would like to know more detail by detail on how to become a skilled worker here in canada and how in, how important to become a skilled worker here in canada of course there is additional payment like additional increase on your salary your hourly rate but more of that we have more benefits if you are a skilled worker here in Canada. Please don't forget to leave a comment for our improvement and like and all bell subscribe. First is the Nis Secret channel, Sir Ace Online, and our very own The Canada. Bye.